Hello YouTube. Um, this is what I think my third video I'm making today. I was, um, I want to talk about pirate festivals. Now, the first gun show that I ever went to in my life was the summer of 2008. Um, just after Ron Paul lost the primary, which I kind of had the feeling he would. Um, disappointed by it though. I did have my hopes up that um, um, that I would see a lot of a lot more libertarian stuff at the gun show. Um, I was my hopes were too high. Um, I saw a lot of um, anti procedural rights and anti Muslim, not just anti Islamic, but anti Muslim um, material at the gun show, and I was um, disappointed. Um, it, it's a little weird because in at lewrockwell.com and a few other libertarian websites, people are all about guns, and they talk about guns as if they are, um, you know, a necessary thing for liberty. And they probably are, um, but gun culture is not pro-liberty. A lot of the gun culture that I see is completely anti-liberty. It's just, it's pro-American, but it's not pro-liberty. And, um, I think that mainstream America is going to be very turned off to um, to the ownership of guns as long as gun culture comes off as um, being machismo and um, hegemonic, hegemonic pro-hegemony. Um, as long as gun culture looks brute. So, um, gun shows really aren't really a great venue to express and share um, libertarian sentiments and ideas. What I think is a good venue for that is um, pirate festivals. Um, now, at the gun shows, there's this little corner you'll find where they have old pictures of, you know, nude Betty Page photos. Um, that's all cute and funny and um, a little dirty, but at a pirate festival, women will walk around with like 75% of their breasts exposed. Um, and I don't mean to equate libertarianism with libertinism, but I think that um, a healthy society is going to be one where female anatomy is um, accepted and celebrated um, in public. Um, I'm not talking about things being lewd, I'm just talking about, um, you know, female charm involves um, a little um, female um, display. Um, <clears throat> now, guns really, the guns really aren't a big thing at the pirate fair, and neither is war, but um, get off my lawn is very, uh, the get off my lawn sentiment is very noticeable at, um, at a pirate festival, and um, there is this little booth at in at the pirate festival where they were um, selling pardons from the king, and um, it was in calligraphy on old-looking paper. And there is this um, there is this tall white man who kind of struck me as Alec Guinness in um, that movie Cromwell. Uh, where he had these this wig that went down to here, and these it had these really thick, big black ringlets in it, and um, on his hat he had this plume that just shot out, this big white plume, and um, he asked me, "Are you a pirate?" After he had read this shirt. So this shirt says, no taxes, no war on I wore it to that pirate festival, and he looked at it, and he smiled at me. He said, are you a pirate? And um, I said, well, how do you define piracy? And um, after he defined piracy, I said, I believe in complete individual freedom. And um, he said, well, um, individual freedom is good, but we need a government, and to have good government, we need tolls and customs to fund it. And he said that with this just totally this air of, you know, I'm 
you know, this very Tory um, attitude, and um, it looks completely feigned, completely satirical, and it felt like he knew that I knew that he was, is almost as libertarian, or maybe even more libertarian than I am, and um, that he um, has fairly anti-government sentiments. And it was just very nice. There was this whole feeling of camaraderie at the pirate festival, you know, with um, people playing um, pirate music and dancing around and women running around in dressed as wenches and people walking around with pints of beer in their hand. And um, uh, my friend and I were drinking pints of beer and, um, and people walking around with these just whole legs of chicken, just holding a drumstick and eating as they go. And there was vegan food, so I had the Mediterranean, like, falafel thing. And that was good. That was good. Um, and then people out libertarianizing each other. Somebody walked up, people would walk up to me and say, oh, you read lewrockwell.com? Because they'd read that shirt. And they'd know, oh, here's some guy who believes in hard money and no war. And, um, and I, this one guy and I were um, talking, we were talking about, oh, let's go back to the articles, and then, oh, let's just secede from the union. And then, I, um, and then he said, oh, let's just go back to regional governments instead of national governments. And then I said, well, how about we just have con um, competition in governments? And um, so I think I, I out-libertarianized him. Um, And um, so yeah, I, I really don't have much of a point to say in this video other than um, next pirate festival that's going to be in your area, um, try to go there. And you might not notice as much libertarian stuff as I do. Um, there's a lot of um, thespian type people there, and thespians aren't necessarily libertarian. A lot of them are just social democrats. Um, and, and you. And also there are a lot of families there and, you know, soccer mom type people who want to take their kids who like pirates. Um, so you might not notice as much libertarian type stuff, but I did. I did. And I, I felt um, very at home there. And um, if you want to buy fancy gold coins, there's a guy there who um, presses gold coins. Um, so if there were three words that could sum up um, the pirate festival with you know, you know lines of cannons along the ground aimed at the island across the river where they scrap battleships and uh, where there's um, a man who presses his own gold coins and sells them to you for fifty dollars each and where there is a um, an unabashed celebration of the female body, then um, those three words are these. Take out your pen and paper and write this down. Guns, gold, and wenches. And in a funny way, these three are, I think, um, words that can sum up what a libertarian attitude would be. Again, guns, gold, and wenches. And these are things that you aren't really going to see a whole lot of at a gun show. You'll see the first one, for sure, but you won't really see too much of the second two. And, um, or, or if you do, it's going to be in a very neocon teabagger attitude. So, yeah, um, don't waste your time at the gun shows. Go to the pirate festivals.